watching my video. We are live. Welcome to Build Better Facebook Live event. We're here at Hamilton Parker with uh, Lynn Inskeep, and we have also have our designer from the clearing company, Annie. And we're going to talk about tile and tips and tricks and trends. So grab a drink and join us. Thanks for joining us today. Um, we are going to remove our masks. We are going to social distance, um, but it's going to be easier for you to, I think, understand us and hear us um, without our masks. Um, so just a quick thank you all for attending. <laughs> Sorry we can't be with you live. Um, we're so happy to announce that Hamilton Parker is open to the public again, um, which is so nice for all of us to, to have our customers coming back in. Um, we do have a new protocol um, in place. Uh, when you are coming into the store, you will be assigned a table. Um, you will be given a mask if you don't have one, and you will be asked to sit at the table until your salesperson comes out to introduce themselves then you can get up and wander around. Um, we also ask that you not touch tile until it's on the table that you're working at. Um, other than that, everything pretty much remains the same. Um, we're very happy to have people back in the, the store and, and kind of just adjusting to our new normal. Um, obviously, if any of you have questions regarding tile questions, um, tile trends, if during our conversation you um, come up with a question, feel free to ask and uh, April will relay it to me and we'll hopefully be able to answer it for you. Um, what do you think, Annie? Anything else? Do we want to just talk about some of the new trends? Sounds great. Go ahead. All right. So some of my favorite items are um, some of the geometric shapes. So this is a tile that, um, not this particular pattern, but we've used in a couple past projects. Now these are a little bit on the expensive side, so we use them as accents. Um, so we have this one with the gold and white, and then the navy and gray and white. So pretty. Yes. So they're great accents in both the bathroom and um, fireplaces and backsplash. So behind tubs, I use them as a, like a major accent wall behind, uh, like a freestanding tub, um, and in the niches in the master also it really works nice in there too. We did that, and then above um, either the range or up mm -hmm. top as an accent. Um, then you can bring in some field tile, so like a herringbone pattern. Um, this is from Sonoma. Uh, it works really well with these great accents. So these are some of my favorites. So is navy the new hot color? Navy, no is, it. Yeah, navy is big. Uh, <laughs> yes, we are, we are getting a, quite a few navy field tiles, some navy tile that, that you can use on your floors. Um, and so like a three and a half by 16, 15. Um, which could be used in a herringbone, which is really cool. Um, remember too, when you're working with those dark colors, you can do a couple different things with grout. You can use a really light color, and all of the everything's going to pop because you've got you know your dark tiles surrounded by light, or you can go really dark and just see it as almost architectural. So that makes a really cool difference. George says hi to both Annie and Lynn. He's hi, watching hi. on Facebook. <laughs> I'm glad he's watching. Um, I, I brought in a few of my favorite tiles. Um, one of my newest favorite, I mean truly, has been in our showroom about two weeks. Um, it's a new series from Walker's Ann called Bisu. It's a glass. It is actually flat, even though it looks beveled, but it's the way it's beveled on the back that reflects into this. Comes in six colors, some beautiful uh, soft blue, a soft rose. When we tour the showroom, I'll point it out to you so you can see all the pretty colors. Um, would be absolutely gorgeous as um, a backsplash. It could be used in a master bathroom. 
could be gorgeous like in a butler's pantry. Um, any, any of those places could be really cool. So that's um, what we're saying. I also brought in a, a Sonoma um, pat pattern. Everything right now, I mean, we still get a lot of call for subway tile. I don't think it's ever going to go away. But I also hear often from people who are coming in saying, I don't want subway tile. Everybody has it. Well, we have a lot of companies, um, high quality and more economic companies, that are making shapes other than subway. Um, Sonoma is one of them. They have all kinds of wonderful um, shaped tile. This is one. Um, the nice thing with Sonoma is they have, I want to say, 63 different glazes. And so you can pick and choose your glaze. This has three different glazes on it. You can pick one, you can pick three. It can be all one color or five. You know, you, you pick and choose. Um, and again, this is, like I say, three colors. This is called, um, I forget, oh, Stellar is um, High Tide is the name of, of the pattern. So, and Sonoma is definitely one of our, I'm not going to say most expensive tiles, but it's definitely our higher end tile. So, you know, kitchen backsplashes, I think you can use this on. Um, you may not want to do a gigantic master shower in it, but maybe use it as an accent in there because you do, you do get into the, I'm going to say, $30 to $50 square foot range with this type of thing. But if you're going over budget in a kitchen, it's a little easier to stomach than in a large bathroom. However, we also have a couple companies. So this is um, made by Equipe, a company out of Spain. We stock um, a number of Equipe items. These are in your $7 range. Um, lots of different colors. You've also got some dimensional tile that you can use. Um, again, we've done the board where we mixed three different colors with pattern and um, just you know glossy tile, but you can pick and choose what you like to do. Um, and again, think about the grout. When you put a light grout in with a dark gray, it's going to pop. When it's in with the softer colors, it's not. So. Is that available in matte and gloss or just gloss? The, the hexes are only available in um, gloss, I believe. Yes, gloss. Um, we do have a couple of their um, subway tiles, and they have one entire series that is all matte. Um, so you can kind of combine that, you know, um, or pick and choose again if you want a matte. Some people prefer a matte backsplash, especially if they have a very shiny countertop. Mm -hmm. um, those and lots of natural light. Right. Because exactly. it gets a little... Exactly. Come in wash colors. And when I say color, I'm talking like greens and burgundies and deep, rich blues and so forth. So, and some other really cool shapes. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, so those are available in the store. Um, other than that, we can obviously take a tour of the showroom. Um, Let's I can do. show you different, um, different areas around the showroom and we can kind of go from that. Let's take a showroom tour. Do we, want to, do we want to start like toward um, the masonry end and look at like some of the cultured stone? And that yeah, thing? maybe uh, some, some of our Facebook users might not know that you carry um, stone and brick products as well. Yeah. Um, Nobody's in the showroom. So, um, so yes, if you haven't been able Stone, outdoor pickers, um, thin brick. Thin brick is probably becoming very, very popular. Um, and this entire wall here is available in thin brick. Um, comes with the corners, or you don't necessarily have to. You don't necessarily use corners, but a lot of times you do. So um, everything here can be done on a thin brick. Thin brick can be used exterior as well as interior. Uh, amazingly enough, we have a lot of people who are using thin brick as backsplash. Um, a lot of people just want that white painted real brick look. 
So we'll find something really inexpensive and paint it and you get that look that you want. Great. Okay. Um, some other things that we have um, are, are, are um, stack stones. Um, and we do a couple, we have a couple different types. So we'll have Real Stone um, is one of our very popular companies, and that's what's in the center here where you have a true stack stone in a 6 by 24. With those, you're going to um, you're going to kind of offset them when they're installed. We also have stone installation available, which a lot of people don't know. So we do install um, our stone. The other items that are over to the right of the real stone are from Island Stone, which is another um, tile company that we carry. And they do some special, wonderful contemporary claddings that look um, just amazing on uh, feature walls and fireplaces and so forth. Um, These are all great for fireplaces and yeah. we use them often. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we get, get a really great look from them. Um, we're also carrying a new company called Creative Minds, which is cultured stone. Um, and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, and you can, it, it looks so natural. Sometimes you can't hardly tell that it's not, not real. Um, and that's over here on this floor. Um, and again, different sizes, different shapes, and different patterns. They even have some that have a bit of a wood look to them, which is um, kind of unusual for something that can be like an outdoor cladding. Um, and even like some of the painted wood, which I think is pretty cool. So, um, yeah. So What's this over here that looks like wood? That's Creative Minds. That's one of the new series that's um, that weathered plank that they do in, the, in, in a painted wood look. Yeah. So they can do that in a, a mixed color, the five, you know, the five color way, and then they also have a sky blue. It's pretty cool. Has yeah. it been popular lately? Yeah, it's it's. We've had it um, on our. I think I want to say maybe two or three months is all we've had this, but it is really, really um, becoming very popular just because it looks so pretty. To the other end, um, you'll see some of our kind of what we call our trend walls here in the in this area. Um, and what you'll see is like thin brick installed. Um, some of our really popular tiles that will be installed to give you an idea of how, how they look. Um, this is again one of the Akipe, um, which is very reasonably priced, but looks like a million bucks. Yeah, it looks great. In the green? Uh-huh, in the green. Yeah. Looks really good. Now, um, one thing that Hamilton Parker is really known for are their decorative tiles. How many different lines of decorative tile do you carry, Lynn? Um, wow. Good, good question. Um, I can think of probably 12 right off the top of my head. Um, there are a lot. Yeah. And it's kind of our, it's kind of our specialty. Um, and wouldn't you say most of the artisan tiles that you carry are made right here in the United States? A good amount of them. Um, some of them are made in Italy and shipped to the United States, um, but, a, but a good amount of them are, are yes. Made and even Italy. some right here in Ohio. Oh, well, all of Seneca um, and Efro are made in, um, in Ohio. Um, that's not only field tile, but all of their decorative tile also. Um, and they do some really, really neat, like craftsman look tile. Um, looks really good in like a more rustic home. Um, but yes, they do beautiful work. Really pretty. Um, and then Lunata, Lunata Bay, uh, who's very well known for their glass and um, some of their concretes are um, very pretty too. And we'll look at those in a minute. Isn't that pretty? Bridges. Um, a new a new concept I'm going to point out just because it's completely different and people always freak out when they hear this. But don't don't. Um, this is a brand new series called Raw, 
But this is tile, this is grout. So the grout is oh, wow. what gives the pattern Ooh. its emphasis. Wow. And we have it, um, so it's a, it's a wall tile for an accent. Yeah. Mosaic can, sheet. Mm -hmm. So you get a mosaic sheet. So if you don't like the green, imagine it with black or imagine it with, you know, just a cocoa color or something right. like that. So really cool new look um, that, that's just come out. Um, and so we've got like three patterns and they're in another room. I'll point them out when we get over there. How, how do you recommend uh, caring for your grout, Lynn? Well, actually, things are so much easier and so much better. Glad you asked, because everybody always freaks out about, about grout and how to take care of it. Almost, well, all of the grout that we now carry from Bostic and Mapai, um, both um, are, have uh, their standard Portland cement tiles actually have built-in sealer already. Now, it doesn't make it stain-proof, but it makes it stain-resistant. Mm -hmm. um, and so, much easier to care for over a period of time and, um, and clean up, cleans up easier. Um, Pei is making a new grout, it's an acrylic grout that's a premixed, um, that once installed is pretty much stain-resistant. Wow. Um, very easy to care for. It takes a little longer to cure um, in, a, in a bathroom or a shower. Um, normally, five to seven days they recommend. Normally you're waiting that long on glass doors and glass anyway, so it doesn't mm -hmm. really, you know, really matter. Um, but yes, and then um, Bostic has their true color. Um, and of course, epoxy is always, you know, a good thing to put on a shower floor because it's completely stain proof. Yes. Are these more expensive? Any of the, um, yes, any of the acrylics and true colors of um, urethanes are a little more expensive. But worth it. Worth it. Definitely worth it. Yeah. So we have our first Facebook question here. Uh, going back to the colored wood look back on the um, brick side, would you use that as siding? You, yes, by all means you could. You could use it as an exterior on a house um, if you'd like to. Um, some people will put it um, almost like as a water table, you know, around the bottom of the basement. Oh, yeah. Um, or even as an accent wall, like on Oh, oh, that would be cool. That would be really cool. Um, so kind of as we move on, um, we'll just kind of go alcove by alcove, and we have numerous alcoves. So you guys tell me where, let's head this direction first. Um, this, this first alcove, um, we kind of specialize in, and this is the Seneca Epro um, that you're looking at that has that more rustic look. Made in Ohio. Made in Ohio. Clay is from Ohio. Everything about this tile is Ohio made. Okay. I've done uh, some really pretty fireplaces yes. and backsplashes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Great flooring, indoor and out, for the Epro. Yes, exactly. Yeah, they're, they're all functional indoor, outdoor flooring tiles and so forth. Um, on this wall is all of our concrete. Um, so you've got the motif and you've got the Lunata Bay concrete. Um, and again, a lot of these can be custom colored, or some of them come in a number of options of color um, that are already stocked at the factory. Is there any extra care for the concrete? As long as it's sealed, uh, no, not really. It's pretty easy to care for. The re thing to remember with concrete is that all of, almost every concrete tile I've ever found is about a half inch thick as opposed to your standard 3 8 inch thick tile. So you kind of have to watch that. Yep. Yeah. Um, obviously, we have uh, our kettles that are very, still very popular for shower floors. Um, a fairly new series from ADEX um, is the new Hex series, which is really pretty because it's got the decorative tile and the solid tile that all work um, side by side. And um, then, of course, the squares. Um, we're carrying LVT now, too. Um, it's special order, but beautiful Luxwood, it's good quality, um, and um, so we're doing that. From this section down, we call it our launch wall. So everything on this wall is maybe two or three weeks old, not very old, it's brand new. And you're gonna see a lot of the newer things that are very popular, like the shapes. So this is Kaleidoscope, it was a design, this is a Walker Zanger series, um, designed by Pietro Donovan, um, and lots of 
unusual, cool kind of retro colors and lots of interesting shapes. So that's um, kaleidoscope. Above that are the other shapes that I was talking about for those grout filled oh, yeah. mosaics. And then way at the top, <laughs> I should have brought it down a little bit, um, <laughs> is our new series from Crosswell called Cursive that has circles and triangles and basic field tile and framed pieces in all kinds of really wonderful, unusual colors. So that's um, another beauty. Um, this is the rest of that Bizu series that I looked at uh, that, that I said was my favorite um, in, um, in the other room. These are the other colorways. Um, so you can see where they've got that really pretty teal, that's kind of that pretty. soft, rosy color. Um, yeah, they're really pretty colors. The teal's gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, yeah it's one of my favorites. Um, so kind of as we go down the row, we'll just go down this row and make a big U-turn. Um, this is what we call our wood room. So many people are um, just frustrated and tired of dealing with having to refinish and worry about dogs on their hardwood floors, and this is the solution. Um, so you've got every type of wood that you could possibly want um, in all different sizes, and um, I've had a couple people do entire houses. And this recently, with the floods that have been going on um, in Ohio, um, just even today, I've had two customers that just want to get rid of carpet in their basement and put tile down. Right. So we don't have to worry about it anymore. And then they're bringing out some colors in these too. So there's that teal yeah. in the back. Yeah. It's all in yeah. green. So the other thing about tile over just having a concrete floor in your basement is you can put heating under the tile floor and you yes. can't heat concrete floor. Exactly. You can, you can put any kind of heated floor system down. Now, if it gets wet, you, you kind of have to be careful there. Right, but, right. Um, yes, but you, you can heat it, that's for sure. This is one that I've been using in several projects um, just because it's so soft and it's a nice subtle wood versus looking more It's not as farmer. rustic. Yeah, yeah it's not, not as, as rustic. rustic. Right. Just a yeah, really a little more contemporary with yeah. the smoother really finish. Clean, pretty look, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, then as we move on, this is probably one of my favorite rooms, and this is kind of like you ask how many how many companies we have that you know make accent tile. Uh -huh. So like within this, and these are just stone mosaics. Um, so we have glass ones too, but those are on the other side of the room and you'll see those, but these are stone mosaics. Um, I can tell you from where I'm standing, I see Crossville, um, Roca, Marble Systems, Body Orient, uh, Castelli, um, Pietra Antica, Artisan, Walker Zanger, like that whole wall that you're looking at straight across, that is all Walker Zanger tile. Um, there are different series. Ellington is the one that has the inset metals, which are beautiful. Ooh. And um, and then you've got um, all kinds of beautiful mosaics. April, their floor is all done in one of these patterns yeah. too, if you want. Yeah. Next door is gorgeous. So very pretty. So those are our, I'm going to call those our decorative stone mosaics. And they're just... So this is the one that you had pulled out too, Annie, right? Yeah. You have one of these boards. So this... Yeah. Yes, she had actually two, two off of that. Uh, we've used this for a backsplash and then this one for a shower niche. So we've done those two most recently. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was the Bexley backsplash. Yes. yes. And we use that with a Pratt and Larson um, field tile. Right. So we're on the other side, but yeah, it turned out really pretty. And again, we use these a lot as accents in a niche. Um, we can a lot of times we'll use them as a shower floor, um, and then pull it up and use it as an accent in the shower. Um, and sometimes I'll use it on an entire back floor. They love me now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, as we move back, um, now we're going to come back into kind of this is just our field tile area. But what you're going to see is 
some of the more of our stocked mosaics, things that we, um, that was, a lot of those we stock or a lot of those we can get very quickly. A um, little less expensive than what you were looking at next door. And little less color options too, because you're stocking them. Well, and that's what's gonna happen when you, when you, when you save in one way, um, you're probably going to, you know, lose a little color or a little, you know, difference in the overall look of the, the tile. Um, and then you're going to just see some of our concept boards that show some of the patterns that we have um, and, you know, some pretty things like that. So those are all in that area. And then this whole back area is just field tile, um, truly, um, from... The top two rows are pretty much natural stone until you get to here. And then the rest of the tile that you're looking at on this wall is all um, porcelain. Mm -hmm. So super easy care, um, lots of different styles and colors, and um, almost all of them will have some type of mosaic that works with them. So you could use it on a bathroom floor and then do your shower in the same mosaic. And um, a lot of these are what we have in our dealer rack at yes. the Clary Company, yes. correct? Yes, yes. A lot of these you will find in your, um, in your dealer rack. Um, a lot of these are going to be in stock. Um, a number of these that you'll see uh, like a green dot on, those are in stock here in, in Columbus. Um, some of the red dots means maybe they're getting ready to go away, but we still have lots of stock on them. Um, and then we'll also have some that are stocked in our Cleveland showroom uh, or our Cincinnati showroom um, and, we're, and warehouses there. And what's great about them being in stock is that you don't have to pay for the extra shipping right. that some of these other um, tiles have. Exactly. Um, as we're passing over, this way we can um, just peek into this is our fireplace department and we also have a garage door department so as you look back you'll see all the garage door options and then we have any number of um, fireplaces that are uh, available um, and all kinds of again beautiful tile that's surrounding them <laughs> so you can get a good idea of what can there's a perfect thing of real stone around a fireplace. Yeah, okay. Um, to give you a, an idea of that rustic look with the slate hearth. It's really pretty. Um, on this side over here, we have, again, patterns that are ever so popular anymore. Um, do a lot of those in seems like I do a lot of them in kids bathrooms oh, yeah. and in laundry rooms um, people like just having a little bit of pop in those places so mm -hmm. we do a lot with those patterns and then again a number this whole wall is porcelain um, a lot of these are I'm gonna say cleaner more concrete um, not as stone and pattern as the other side so these are pretty neutral um, and then of course we have a whole, the little bowl of mosaics, um, lots and lots of penny rounds. They're still really popular, and I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. Um, some some basic, you know, um, retro kind of hexes, uh, one one by one, two by two, um, black and white, uh, or plain black or plain white. So we've got pretty much anything you need covered in that. Um, what we're looking at here on this wall is our Crossville laminate panels and countertops. Um, so what you're looking at here is a, is a 39 by 110 inch panel. They are either 5.6 millimeters thick. Those can go on the floor or the wall, or you have a three plus that can go on the wall only. There are numerous colorways in the different patterns. So if you want a seamless shower, you can get that. Um, I've also used it on um, wall, feature walls. Um, and one of these, this one, um, is the one that we use um, in a big office downtown at Civic Center Drive um, on the floor. 
all over, oh, really? and it looks awesome. And it's been down probably four years, and it still looks like brand new. Is there a little bit of a texture to that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, the new countertops um, from Crossville are three-quarter inch thick. Um, they come in, um, I want to say, eight different, um, eight different patterns. Some come matte or polished. Um, so you can get into a true piece that looks like um, Carrera. Yeah. Um, the, these being porcelain are completely stain proof, completely heat proof. I mean, nothing soaking. In terms of quartz, if you put a hot pot on it, you can see where it may discolor. This is never going to happen. They actually tested this um, at Crossville. They put um, one of these in a room, a countertop in a room, and, and lit the room on fire, um, <laughs> and, and then let the fire die, yeah. and pulled, pulled the slab out and cleaned it, and they could reuse it again. Wow, yeah. that's so, unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty amazing stuff. And they, and they actually are asking us, folks at Crossville, because it's so, so stain resistant, they've actually asked us, keep telling us something else you want to try on it to see if it will damage it. Mm. And so far, they haven't found anything that will damage it. Awesome. So, yeah. The only thing that will damage is if you have a polished piece and you put a piece of the back side of um, an unpolished piece on top and pull it, it may scratch a little bit, but they've buffed it out. So, mm. pretty good stuff. Um, and it only comes in the three quarter, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. But you can miter the edge and add an apron, or you can do an, an L shape, you know, a waterfall. Waterfall. Over yeah. It. So, yeah. yeah, it's really cool. It's really cool. We have a comment. Love the showroom. Well, thank you. <laughs> we love it too. I call it my, I call it my candy store. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this room is um, what I call my subway room, and um, for obvious reasons, I have lots of subway tile in here. And subway tile is still very popular, and it is classic. However, um, again, as I was saying a little while ago, we have Walker Zanger. So these are Walker Zanger field tiles here. These, all the way here and here, are all Kipe. So all very reasonably priced. Again, some matte finishes, um, some shiny finishes in chevron, um, chevron again, the benzene shape, we also have a triangle shape, um, so lots of different things you can do with those, you know, with, with, uh, with those, and they're not horribly expensive. How many of these do you stock? I stock all of them. You all do. the green, right? I stock this. All the green tags? Uh-huh, all the green tags. Wow. So I stock a lot of Akipe, yes. Um, then I've got some Slash, which has got that cool little dot to it, which I love, and some great colors. And if you're looking for brights, I can um, I can order the brights from Indiana, and there it can be here in two weeks. So I've got great yellows and greens and blues and reds, which are really fun. Yeah. Um, on the opposite side, on the opposite wall, again, you now you can see some navy. Um, there's a navy up there, and a navy up there, and a deep blue here. Um, the new Adex pennies are really popular. They're so pretty. <laughs> They're good. I'm turned around. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just let it be. <laughs> these are Adex. Um, Adex has a number of different series and great colors, some crackles, um, some solids. I'm gonna call it middle of the road pricing. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. It's not as inexpensive as a Kipe, but not as expensive as the Sonoma or the Pratt & Larson. And they were um, always known for their neutrals, so I love mm -hmm. that they're coming out with these but softer colors. shades, yeah. but mm -hmm. these mm -hmm. colors. Color. These are yeah. all, these are all oh, Adex yeah. now too. Those aren't soft. Um, yeah, my yeah. kid's shower is Adex, yeah. four by 10. Yeah. Um, this is the Stellar Quick Ship program, um, which is Sonoma, but 16 colors. Um, that's where that one really cool blue comes in. And then you've also got the uh, Dakota series, which comes in just those 
there's two, uh, seven colors. So I want to say there's eight. I think we're missing one there. Um, I want to say there's eight colors in Dakota. Has that kind of little textured edge. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, like it, like eight. it's ripped or mm -hmm. torn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And those are those are really cool and pretty reasonably priced. Those yeah. are in the maybe eight or nine dollar range. So neat, neat things. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and then check out that Kelly green up there for George. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There's a there's a bright green. Oh, let's get that for George. There you go, George. There's your green. Here's your bright green. It's right next to the pink. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then we do have. <gasps> underneath all of the tables there's going to be um storage and space that have other items colors um shapes all kinds of goodies that you can you know that you can can look at um so she's turned around april's turned around <laughs> oh no there we go got it Woo! there there we are Aaron's cracking up at home, I'm sure. <laughs> I swear I've only had one glass of wine, Aaron. <laughs> if that. <laughs> Probably I haven't even finished it. Um, so I call the next room um, my custom room because this is the room that Sonoma and Pratt and Larson are in. And um, so Sonoma, as I was talking in the, um, at the beginning, um, in the conference room, when we were talking about shapes and sizes, these are all of the wonderful shapes and sizes that you can get in Sonoma. Um, and again, all of these come in, I want to say 60, I want 63 colors is what's sticking in my mind. So you can do anything you see in any color you like, um, which makes it very custom to your home. So you and don't they have those super fun iridescent colors up there. Yeah, the iridescent yeah, ones the are so glorious, right? Um, which is just again. Laura, Laura likes that Euphoria series. Mm -hmm. She's used that a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those are the Euphoria. Um, down lower, I mean, you know, like here, this is um, Crossville Simpatico. Mm -hmm. Very reasonably priced. Great fun looks for um, again. Showers. I've used them in kids' bathrooms. They're just really fun. This is the handwritten series. Um, some just, you know, basic things. Are you, are you? <laughs> there, <we laughs> Whoop, go. there you go. <laughs> we lost it again. Um, I'm, this is all, I'm having too much fun with the joystick, I think. <laughs> um, this is all Pratt and Larson. And again, with Pratt and Larson, custom. So here are all of the colors that you can get all of your tile in on these three boards and all of the shapes that you can get all of those colors in those shapes. Um, they also make a really cool series, the textured series. Um, you can mix the textures, you can go with one, you can add color, um, you know, you kind of make it your own. Yeah. Um, it's it's neat because it's kind of a, it's a basic subway. Well, they're now making it in Texas now too in squares, but you can do a really classic look with a twist, um, and it just comes off really really cool. Pratt and Larson actually started as a um, small company that was out of. Were, they were actually sold to country floors and then um, they went off on their own and started getting dealers and we've been a dealer of theirs for probably I'm gonna say 10 or 12 years and actually are one of the top dealers in the United, United States now um, you were the Hamilton Parker I know this fact because I used to work for another tile company it was the first non-country floor Pratt & Larson dealer mm -hmm. in the state of Ohio yeah <laughs> um, and so we, we do a lot of business with them um, because we love them, <laughs> because, they, because they do have wonderful things. Um, them in Sonoma, we just, yeah. you know, we can't say enough about them. And they have, um, gr you know, great people that take really good care of us. Um, and they... Um, Their metallic finishes are gorgeous. They constantly come out with 
really innovative patterns and ideas. So it just makes it it makes it fun as a you know as a tile designer to to be involved with them. So yeah, but they're not inexpensive. No, but they're but worth it. But worth every penny, I think. So yes. Um, and I guess last. This is our glass, I call it our glass room, because pretty much everything in here is glass. And it is, I call it the jewelry um, of, of what every room should have. Um, and so, you, again, you're looking at Lunata Bay. Um, you're looking at Sonoma, um, Time Makers. You're looking at um, Original Styles um, and some Body Orient. Um, and Island Stone, and all of these people truly specialize in accents and mosaics and wonderful, wonderful glass um, designs. I remember when the recycled glass started really hitting Ohio. It was the big, yeah. the big thing. Most important thing to remember about Ooh, mirror tiles. Oh yeah, mirror tiles. Most of the mirror That's tiles a flashback we flashback to the seventies. <laughs> um, either from uh, original styles or from MLW. Um, and again, MLW. they have a beautiful, um, like in a butler's pantry kind of idea, or a you know dining room airy backsplash. They're really pretty. Um, that very interesting sculpted kind of look above that is a crossbill. Mm -hmm. Called Sight View Glass. Um, That's gorgeous. Yeah, it really is cool. Mm -hmm. Almost looks like gold bars. And it does actually <laughs> have um, gold plate, from what we understand, inside some of those. Or maybe that was a, there was a company that used to make the gold. It was Lunata Bay that actually, some of them do. So, yeah. like this one actually has a silver plate behind it. They also have one that has a gold plate behind it, and they tr and it truly is, and they're expensive. But <laughs> you're paying for the metal, right? Um, but they're they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, one of probably my new favorite series that we're carrying is the Sonoma Astoria group. Um, so you've got all of these colors in all of these patterns, including the new flutes. Which those are, are so cool, aren't they cool? So cool, yeah. Um, and so that, and it, it's hard sometimes to look because you've got a matte finish and a shiny finish, but they almost they have like a glimmer behind mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. um, so it makes it kind of special. Really cool. series, um, fairly new. This is the series on the bottom. Um, this is actually made by Cetius Glass. Um, these are glass pieces, but they also make them in panels as large as 48 by 24. Oh, wow. So you can put them like on a, on a wall. Um, it's, a, it's a layered process. So when you're looking at them, you'll see a layer on the back. The vinyl in the center is the color the design, and then they have that um, seal, seal yeah. on top. On top. Uh -huh. um, a lot of pretty colors, some really cool metallics. Um, so that's a really nice, pretty group, too. Yeah, some great iridescence. Mm -hmm. Mosaics over here, too. Yeah, that's Bahara. That's from Sonoma. Um, and again, all of those colors are available in all of these patterns that you see. The, the elongated hex, the Squiggly. Yeah, the squiggly. <laughs> and then, of course, the little, you know, one by twos or half yeah. inch by twos. And, yeah, so some gorgeous really pieces. Fun accents, especially in showers and yeah. bathrooms. Um, used yeah, the water with the yeah. iridescent yeah. is really pretty. It's real pretty, yeah. And again, 
more storage and more colors and more design stuff, stuff kind of everywhere. Um, Check so out the gold inlay on that floor too. Oh yeah, that's that pretty, that's oh. that pretty floor, that Ellington floor that has that golden white. I think some of them are gold, some of them are silver. Yeah. I think we laid both, both in. So you get a really pretty, that would make an absolutely stunning entryway. In a, in a yeah. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. And this pattern is new. This is a Lunata Bay. It's the Luce pattern, and it's they call it the feather pattern. It's Luce series feather pattern. So it's supposed to kind of replicate the, the way feathers lay. Um, oh, yeah. And this is available in um, the. The, what they call the pearl, which is what you're looking at, the shiny, mm -hmm. and then it also is available in the silk, which is more that matte finish. Right. So, yeah, it's really pretty. What else? All right. Is that that's, it? That's pretty much, I think that's all I can show you. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Lynn, for hosting us and giving us wine, which is always nice, and talking to our Facebook fans about Dial and showing off your gorgeous new showroom. Thank you, and thank you all who attended. And by all means, if, please come and visit us. Um, we're, we're open um, every day, basically 8 to 5, Saturdays 8 to 12. We do encourage appointments, um, but by all means, we'd love to have you visit. Great, thanks so much, Lynn. Everyone at the Cleary Company, from George down to the designers, down to the guys working in the field, appreciate you, the relationship we have with Hamilton Parker. We love you guys too.